Okay, so here's the start of what I'm kind of thinking. I have all my tan pieces to make a good desert. Uh, I'll be using those pieces for the uh, church. I'm going to kind of build like a hill up that will slope up just a little bit. So the church will be on a slight hill and I'll have a cemetery somewhere in there. So I can actually have some skeletons like in the ground. So I'll try to hollow that out, which will be pretty cool. Um, I think I'm just going to continue the river just a short ways and have it disappear over there. Maybe the little, um, like the teepees and stuff over there. Not quite sure. Up here, I want to do something that looks really cool just because it's going to be really in the front. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas, I'll just be working on landscaping for a little while. But if you have any ideas, let me know. All right, guys. So here's my updated progress for the mock. Um, I continued the river over here just a little bit. Uh, it kind of runs in line with the train tracks curve because in real life, usually railroads, they would do their best to build near rivers because, I mean, the workers and all that needed to have, like, fresh water and all that kind of stuff as they were um, building these miles long. And railroads would be close enough to where they built little cities, which would be near water. So I just wanted to simulate that a little bit. Uh, going over here, I started on the base layer of this hill where the church is going to be on. I built a few little graves here and it just looks like they they're freshly dug up kind of thing um i'm gonna put little headstones on these three probably keep them as open graves and then do some closed ones over here so here we have the um open graves that i'm working on for the church graveyard there um I, like I said earlier, I was going to do a few modifications on the former Hogwarts Express, but not a whole lot. So I just put this gold ingot on either side so we can have it the ingot express, I guess. Um, so the idea here is we have the mine that has the whole operation going on. Uh, they, I'll show the whole process later, but anyway, yeah, they get the silver and gold extracted and then they have the train here that looks like just normal passenger train but really inside the coal hole they've got a bunch of gold ingots that they're shipping out so i'm thinking what i'm going to do is build like a refinery right here so we have the mine itself they'll like pull the resources and stuff out to here I'll try to make some little contraptions and stuff that looks like they're sorting through the gold and stuff like that. And um, maybe put like a little foundry here so it looks like they're melting down the gold bars. I think that would look really cool actually. So that whole front section would be for that. And then this would be for shipping it out. So this would be like a little mining operation that they have here. And then the church would be just kind of a structure that was there for a while and it's kind of run down um, and maybe like it was an abandoned town or something and either outlaws or somebody's running it so we'll see what I end up coming up with but yeah if you guys have some more creative ideas let me know and let's see what else progress we can get done. All right, so here's a quick video update of what I've got so far. Uh, this will probably be the end of this big video segment, but I continued the desert and kind of connected it up to the churchyard. Here we have the three graves so far that we have dug, and then we'll probably have some more completed un undug out graves over here. Uh, the church itself is not gonna be massive, but that's, about the size of it. 
and it'll be removable, so it'll probably be this tall-ish. You can just take the whole thing out, so I just have it kind of tiled off right there. Um, this is gonna be more, way more textured and everything. This is just kind of like the base layer I'm laying, and uh, the mining facility will probably be over in this area. And back here, I'm thinking, still kind of trying to decide if I want to build a little bit more mountainscape or what I'm going to do there. I may use these pieces right here since I have so many to try to build like some sort of interesting plateau back there and then maybe move the teepee whenever I get it up front a little. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do um, but this will be fun to work with here and yep, yeah, I will get keep you guys updated and probably get my next video out here soon. Thanks again for watching. Sorry that it's been taking a little bit longer to get videos out. Stuff has just been busy, but I appreciate all the support. Hope you guys have a good day and uh, keep building, stay creative.